Hi, my name is David Maltich, and today we're going to talk about elbows, specifically discharge fan elbows and how they can alter or change the way a fan performs. Today's safety topic, cell phones. Oftentimes we're walking through a job site or a factory, there's a lot of grinding, there's vehicles moving around, there's welding, and these can be huge distractions. So recommend turning them off, wait until you get to a safe location to respond to a text, email, or phone call. Let's talk a little bit about our demo equipment. First, we have a centrifugal fan, we have a straight run ductwork with a bell mouth inlet, pitot tube with some tubing that connects to a magna hela cage, and we have a 90 degree elbow to help demonstrate how this elbow can affect or change the way a fan performs. Now time for the live demonstration. As we saw in our previous videos, air has mass. That mass wants to hug the outside blue shape of the fan housing. So if you put a 90 degree elbow on the fan, there's a correct one, which is position A, and there's an incorrect one, which is position B. Position A, that air as it discharges the blue shape, hugs the outside of the 90 degree elbow, and then we put a straight run ductwork afterwards to get our static pressure regain very little losses associated with that configuration. Position B elbow breaks the back of the air, creates a lot of turbulence, and that air has to get re-accelerated out, and we have a greater loss with that configuration. Let's see what happens when we actually put this on the fan. So we take that 90 degree elbow, put it on the fan, air hugs the outside of the blue shape, hugs the outside of the elbow, we can put our straight runner duct to get our static pressure regain, and we can see that there's very little losses associated with this configuration. Rotating this 180 degrees, put it on the fan, air hugs the outside of the blue shape, dead heads against here, we get our turbulence, air has to get real accelerated out, and we can see on the magnet helic gauge that there's some greater losses associated with this configuration versus the other configuration. On to final thoughts. Final thoughts, 90 degree elbows. Oftentimes we don't realize that air has mass. When we're moving 26,000 CFM through a fan, we're actually moving one ton of air through that fan every single minute. So every three minutes, we're functionally moving a pickup truck through the fan. We also have to realize that Air at 4,000 feet per minute, which is your typical minimum conveying velocity, is air at 45 miles per hour. So if we keep it in nice, smooth radiuses, we can have an efficient system. If we sit there and break the back of the air, create turbulent situations, we can get some pretty significant energy losses. Thank you very much. Any thoughts, comments, put in the section below, and we'll get right back to you. Any ideas on what you'd like to see in the future, let us know as well. Thank you very much.